welcome once again my name is Olaj John Luafemi and people call me I am Bizalil if you go online just type I am Bizalil you can add hashtag to it and you'll get everything about me and this is solution plus platform where we discuss solutions to identified issues we discuss not just solution homegrown solution and today I have with me another guest in the house uh, I want I, I'm going to allow him to introduce himself but I'm going to uh, I will allow him to introduce himself after the break but before the break let me just give us an insight into what we are going to be discussing today and what we are going to be discussing today is what we have discussed in our previous uh, 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 program where we discussed about vote buying and the future of Nigerian democracy and um, today I have another meticulous and ever sagacious person in the house that could discuss about the issue of vote buying of course is an activist is an honorable so I want it will, it will be the one that will be doing justice to the issue of vote buying and the future of Nigerian democracy um, I'll be right back after this break thank you there is fire on the mountain And nobody seems to be on the run Oh, there is fire on the mountain top And no one is a running I wake up in the morning Tell you what I see on my TV screen I see the blood of an innocent child And everybody's watching Now I'm looking out my window And what do I see? I see an army of a soldier man marching Across the street Hey, hey Mr. Soldier Man So welcome back. My name is Teo Olajon Oluwafemi. People call me I am Bizalil and this the platform is Solution Plus. And with me in the house is Mr. Oduwali Abiodun. Once again, thank you very much for having me in the studio. My name is Oduwali Abiodun. I am an educationist and CEO of Light Tutorial Classes and a passionate Nigeria. If you go online, my name is uh, CCON, which literally translates to Concerned Citizens of Nigeria. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, thank you very much. Actually, I have my reason for interviewing him. When you, when you hear anybody speaking on this platform, you must know there is a reason why we have brought that person. It's because he's a concerned citizen of Nigeria. And of course, he's an active citizen of Nigeria. That's why we have, we have actually invited him. To come and grace this program and um, today um, without wasting much time last week we invited someone that did some justice uh, a wonderful justice to the issue of boat buying and today I want to hear another perspective concerning vote buying mr. Oduwale so that I won't for offend you see what do you call C -C it yeah. CCON. CCON. Okay, ah, yeah. I want to ask you one again. Um, what is your own understanding of vote buying? Uh, thank you very much once again. As for me, when you talk about vote buying, vote buying is an economic exchange between uh, a politician or a political party and the voters for the voters to vote in a particular way. In other words, when you talk about vote buying, Vote buying is influencing, using money inf to influence the decision of an electorate to vote in a particular way. And it is, uh, it is inimical, it is dangerous to the democracy of Nigeria, seriously. So, um, in other words, you are saying that it's a, an act of inducing, in inducing the um, electorate to vote in a particular direction that's, that's that's a wonderful thought thank you very much and i want to ask again you talked about vote buying as um 
has been inducing the electorate. Or in your own understanding, what are the causes of vote buying? Because we are saying vote buying, vote buying. There must be a reason why people engage in this particular uh, uh, menace that we are talking about, vote buying. What's your own, what you perceive can be the cause of vote buying? Okay, before delving into the causes of vote buying, you will notice that in the history of our democracy since 1999, uh, what we used to have is ballots, box snuffing, uh, violence in terms of uh, toggery and oligarchism in the polling booths, starting of boxes and so on. Now, it has taken another dimension and that is vote buying. Now, people are given money to vote in a particular way, to vote for a party to vote for a candidate so, be, 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 before you move ahead i want to ask this question uh, people have this idea that your vote doesn't even count in the post, first place um and if you ask an average nigeria don't let me say an average nigeria let me i say the people living in the semi-urban area or rural area you if you ask them about what's their perspective about voting in the first place they will tell you the, our vote doesn't count we, we shall vote none but now the question is why are they buying the votes thank you once again you see buying of vote is singularly caused by poverty poverty when you open up the term poverty in this context you will see it is very broad in terms of education people are not aware that their vote is their power again people are not aware that their vote is their power at the same time today vote continues to count vote our vote is counted go and ask everywhere because if our vote is not counted there won't be buying of vote again i'll be right back after this break thank you do you desire high grade in your exam? UTME, NECO, and Wahe 2019. The best place you can visit is LI Tutorial Classes for Nikoro Aralama Company, where we are delivering results. You can visit LI Tutorial Classes for your lectures and registration. At the same time, don't be deceived by the current charges of 2019 UTME. Although it is legally fixed as 3,500 for registration, but there are still other charges that are attached to it, which is legally approved by JAM. Once again, for lectures and registration for your 2019 UTM, me wahe and neko examination visit li tutorial classes onikoro alalama company you can contact li tutorial classes on 0706254284 once again 0706254284 li tutorial classes is calling you to come and have the best result in your exam thank you Welcome back once again. The platform is still Solution Plus, and we are discussing vote buying and the future of Nigerian democracy. I still have with me Mr. Oduwale. He said he's a concerned citizen of Nigeria. Yes, and I call him an active citizen in my own language. So, um, back to you again, Mr. Oduwale. Thank you very much. Uh, I still want to go back to we are we stop before we have a break i was saying that there are basically two things two things i said that cause vote buying number one is poverty people have been captured with poverty by the political class because if people have not been captured by poverty by the political class you won't see people taking rice or bag of rice Taking cups of rice, taking just 1,000 naira, 500 naira, just to vote for a particular politician. Secondly, you will be talking about trust gap between the leaders and the led, between the politician, or say, let me say, between the leaders and the electorate. People do not trust their leader again. Serially, I mean, let me say, uh, uh, yeah, every four, four years, the politician will come and meet you. They are going to provide you with electricity. They are going to provide you with uh, so many amenities, so many things. But when people vote for them, they, for, they, they, they renege on their promises when they came into power. For example, the evidence is here. 
during this uh, administration, uh, before in 2015, when uh, President Muhammadu Buhari and the APC came to the electorate that they are going to fight corruption, they are going to uh, ensure security, they are going to tackle the economy. If you look at these three fundamental things, you will see that this government has not kept to their promise. More importantly, if you look at the uh, the, the, the fair price, the I, 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 I had them during the campaign saying that they are going to bring the pump uh, the, the the price of the pump price to from one uh, 87 naira to 43 naira what price do we have it now 143 naira so uh, if, uh, if people continue to, to to lack trust in their government in, in their leader or in their government then what they are, they, are, they, they, they have no alternative than to collect whatever they want to collect from you before voting for you because they know that whatever you promise them is not going to be fulfilled later so that's those are the two basic things that cause uh people to 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 to, to sell their buy try so to say okay wow um i i think you have actually captured the causes of why people actually sell their votes to the buyer so to say that is the uh, uh, politician um I want to ask you. I, I can say that you are vibrant. You are, you are, you have this activism in you. I want to ask you, in your own understanding, the way you have seen things in Nigeria, do you think we even have there is a there is a future for Nigerian democracy? You see, uh, Nigeria is work in progress. I do not want to join uh, the people. Or a set of people who are pessimistic about Nigerian projects. If you look at America and some other developed countries today, their democracy do not just develop uh, overnight. They have gone through experiences. So I believe that despite the fact that uh, whatever we are facing as a challenge today, especially in our democratic uh, setup or process, Nigeria, we die still hope for Nigeria. But all hands must be on deck. All hands must be on deck. The youth must play their own part. The electorate must play their own part. The government should also continue to, 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 to keep, uh, keep to their promises. So everybody has a uh, role to play in the future of Nigeria. So I don't want to uh, go to the side of people who, who, who are pessimistic about the future of Nigeria. Niger and I still believe in Nigerian projects. So Nigeria is still going to be a better place if all hands are, be, are, are on deck. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Oduwale. In fact, I'm also a, a, an unrepentant believer of the Nigerian project um, and at this point I want to thank you for believing in Nigeria and of course sparing the time to actually grant us this interview on Solution Plus and before we go I will want to I want you to give us your last um, your, 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 your parting shot like concerning the issue of vote buying for the um, electorate and of course to the politicians what are your parting shots, sir? Uh, thank you very much. Before I leave today, I want to uh, tell everybody that as we go into 2019 election, uh, all of us should play our own part. We should eschew from violence. We should do our uh, civic duty with patriotism. The politician should not embark uh, uh see uh, this process as do or die affairs i'm employing all nigerians to go out there during uh, on the day of election to vote massively for the people whom they think can bring a better life for them in the country so that at the end of the day all of us will be able to say vini fisi fiki that is we come we saw we conquer Thank you very much. I like that. You, you even gave us a Latin expression. Thank you very much. Um, at this point, I want to say thank you for listening to Solution Plus. And 
the program is still solution plus before but before we go i want you to give us your name again your phone number and maybe your twitter handle so that the people want to connect with you thank you very much once again my name is Oduwale Abiodun, the CEO of Eli Tutorial Classes, Unikora Alama Compound. Okay, for the adverts. My phone number is 070-6254-284. The phone number again? 070-6254-284. And the Twitter handle is at Oduwale Abiodun. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. It's going to pay for our advert anyway. We actually rolled in his advert uh, during the program uh, anyway maybe he's going to pay some extra because he's been telling us he's the ceo of Eli tutorial classes yes um at this point i want to say thank you my name is still ola john Femi. people call me i am bizarreal and my twitter handle is towards white t w e r g y w h i t e that's my twitter handle you can also use the same thing for my instagram and the platform is still solution plus where we discuss solution not just solution but homegrown solution thank you very much